Now we come to the medial surface of the cerebrum. This is the frontal pole, the occipital pole, the supramedial border. This here is the infrolateral border. On the medial surface, there is a very prominent collection of white matter which is known as the corpus callosum. Corpus callosum comprises of a part which is known as the rostrum. This is known as the genu or the bend. Here is the body of the corpus callosum and this posterior part is known as the splenium of the corpus callosum. So the parts are genu, body or trunk and the splenium. Sulcus above the corpus callosum is known as the callosal sulcus. There is a big gyrus here which is known as the cingulate gyrus. Above the cingulate gyrus, this particular sulcus is known as the cingulate sulcus. Between the cingulate sulcus and the supramedial border is a gyrus which is known as the medial frontal gyrus. In relation to the posterior part, this particular very, very important sulcus is known as the calcarine sulcus. Goes in relation to the occipital lobe of the brain, this particular sulcus is known as the post, is known as the calcarine sulcus. This particular sulcus is the parieto-occipital sulcus. This triangular area is the cuneus and an area in front of the cuneus is the precuneus. Part in relation to the central sulcus on the medial side, this particular part is known as the paracentral lobule. So on the medial surface, we see the medial frontal gyrus, the paracentral lobule, the precuneus and the cuneus.